Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. So I went to the office supply store with my son and I found these 20 cent folders and they come in all the colors of the rainbow. And I thought this is gonna be the perfect way to organize my uh, magazine scraps, my ephemera and everything like that. So I wanna show you what I did. I think it was brilliant. Each one of these folders was 20 cents. So I bought a whole metric ton of them. I bought two of each color. And then I also bought one of these. It was a set of two. So I have two of these. And then I went through and I redid the lines with my uh, scoring bone folder. And I kept working on them. So then what I decided to do was to make labels for them using my scrapbook paper that would match the colors of the folders. And so I went like this and then all the way down them. So I did one on, so the, I had eight colors. So I had one, two, three, four, and then I did five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna show you how it turned out because I, Gosh, I couldn't be more pleased with how it turned out. So this is my new ephemera folio. I'm trying not to wiggle you too much. And so you can see it's in rainbow color, which I'm really good at. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then, and then I got pink, and then I had just an extra one. And as you can see, I've put little labels on each one, but I'm gonna show you not only did I do just a, um, you know, in the colors. So first off, when you find something, I've already been doing this as I've gone along. So when you have this and you find something, uh, see, see I found this little puffin. Now what I do is I just open this up and I slide that in there. And then the next time I open that folder, I just put it wherever it belongs. And you'll see in a minute, we'll go ahead and file that puffin. And then I also found that I had some things like my background that were super, super full. So I just made a little special one, but let's start with animals. So we're gonna pull our puffin out. Oh, I don't think we're gonna do animals. Let's do, let's do collage. Cause I wanna show you how I dealt with all different sizes of things. So of course, my um, papers aren't all the same size. It would be perfect if they were all full size, but I don't like to save full size. I like to save all different sizes. So this is my collage folder. Anything that's too big to fit in one of these small envelopes goes in that collage folder. And then I've made a lot of these little envelopes and any envelope will fit sideways into a matching and another matching envelope. So this is just a small collage envelope and then I have my small collages in there. So this was a way to accomplish two things. Number one, it kept me, we'll just put that to the side for a second. It kept me from having like all fat bottom things. It helped me move some of this stuff up to the top. And also it gave me a place to store the little things. Now I wanted to show you my one giant folder, which I'm going to have another giant folder in one of my, um, in my other folio package, but this is my backgrounds and I have a little background issue. I like lots of them. So what I did was I just sewed two folders together. So these are my medium sized backgrounds. So this is red through, it has to be red through yellow because this is blue through black. I have all my reds, blues, pretty ones, and then my small red through blues up there. And then my small green through blacks, because I have my greens and my whites and my blacks there. And so that was just an amazing way to do it. I just, I sell on Etsy, so I had labels that I used for my label printer. I just did this in Word, and then I printed them out and cut them off. And, that was the neatest thing I have ever done and it cost less than $20 and I've been working on it since uh, like a couple days ago, off and off, very off and on, but it just took a little bit. 
And I would say the one thing that you want to remember is that it's not going to be perfect when you get started. I want to show you this one thing I did. So when I went through my first round, I didn't put the labels on right away because I had to figure out what kind of categories I needed to do. Instead, I just used a sticky note and then I put faces on there. And then once I had done it and kind of moved them around, um, then, I, then I put on the, the labels that were gonna stay forever because it's hard to understand really what you're gonna do until you dig into it. Now you may um, be somebody who likes to organize red, orange, green, yellow, blue. Um, I'm not that kind of person. I do things according to either what they are factually or what I'm going to be using them for like collage or I have tags. These are other things that I'm gonna do. So I have borders, banners, tags, edges, scrapbook paper, maps, holidays, book scraps, and then Tim Holtz um, that I'm going to do in my other folder when I get done with this video. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.